since we have these cases where histograms can be misleading, now we want to introduce an alternative method. And again, it's going to be a numerical calculation. It's basically a number that's going to give us some information about how skewed or symmetric our data set is. So as an alternative to interpreting histograms or other graphs for numerical data, we're going to calculate skewness, which is just going to be a number. So rather than looking at a graph, we'll have an individual number, and then we'll apply some interpretation to that number. So in order to calculate skewness in StatCrunch, we'll select the Stat menu. We'll select Summary Stats. And then Columns. That will output this box, which ended up being a little blurry maybe in this picture. But it'll work similar to some of our other features. We'll select whichever data set we're interested in working on. So if we select VAR1, we'll see that pop over in the right column. And then under statistics, we'll have a variety of different measures we can select. So scrolling down a little bit, we'll see this skewness option. So clicking on that, we'll drop it into that box on the right-hand side. And then clicking compute will give us this output. So again, each time we calculate skewness, we're just going to end up with a single number. And then we'll talk about applying some interpretation to that number. So what that means. So this is actually the result. This 1.265 is the result we're going to get in example two. We want to calculate the skewness for the data below. And in this case, this is the actual data for that histogram on the page before. So the data on mobile, mobile 3G subscribers in millions in the fourth quarter of 2011 for these different Eastern countries. So what we'll do is input this data into StatCrunch, which I've already done here. And then to calculate skewness, again, we'll select Stat, Summary Stats, Columns. So I only have one column to choose from since I only have one set of data entered, so I'll select VAR1. Initially, a number of different measures are already selected here, but we'll scroll down past those that are already highlighted, and towards the bottom of this list, we'll see skewness. In this case, we just want that single measure, so we click on that, and now the only thing that StatCrunch is going to output is just that value for skewness on the right, and we click Compute. And what we end up with is that 1.265, or about 1.27, as the value for the skewness of this data set.